So I'm heading out to Cypress Point to play golf, right? And out of nowhere, I get a text from Glenn, hey coach, I'm back. And I'm like, great, I uh, can't wait to get going. And I send him a picture of he and I, and he's got a big smile on his face. And I sent it to him and I'm like, this is what it's about, Glenn. And I think he thumbs up or loved it or whatever. And the next day, out of nowhere, I get this text. It says, coach, I want to be the leader of this team. I want to take this Nebraska program places where they've never been before. I want to go to the NCAA tournament. I want to win in the tournament. I got chills. I almost started to cry. Coach Miles, you know, he was like a father of the figure, showing me love from the day one and holding me accountable from day one. I mean, we had our ups and downs together, but I just want to make the, the last run. He and I have been through thick and thin. It was well publicized in our local media, like, hey, is Miles gonna make it after our third straight losing season? And, and Glenn was part of two of those. And at the time, we were having some of his friends transfer, and he was being recruited right off our team. We was losing a lot, and it was just you know, frustrating with me. Everybody kept asking me, like, why everybody leaving? Like, are you leaving too? And I'm just like, I never really had a doubt of it. I always have his back, he always had my back. Gotta hustle, gotta hustle, let's go! Well, Glenn is a surviving member of the class of 2015. He signed four kids that year, and one by one, they've either transferred or went and played pro. There are a lot of extenuating circumstances, a lot of outside influences and factors pulling the very fabric you're trying to keep together, they're ripping it apart, whether it be social media, media, and part of that fabric is Glenn and I together. And, and I like to say we're too tough to tear, baby. I think I'm the only four-year player on the team. We got a special team with me, Isaac, Roby, and James. With us four coming back, there's not too many teams that can, you know, can handle us four. First, I want to win a Big Ten. Watson, reverse layup. Got it. And then I want to make the tournament and make it to the Final Four or better. Coach Osborne hired me. And I've had the good fortune to have a close personal relationship with Coach. I think it's been one of those relationships where I've certainly benefited a lot more than he has. Two years ago, quite frankly, after a season that Sean Eichhorst had to decide whether he was going to keep me as the coach in Nebraska or not, it was a time for me to really reflect. I'd had lunch with Coach Osborne, and he said, well, tell me about your game goals. What are you trying to accomplish? And he said, um, you know, and I meandered around, and he said, well, what we tried to do is we said, this is what a perfect game looks like. And all of a sudden, you know, everybody has your aha. Boy, that's simple. Good job, fellas. Way to shoot it. Yep. I said, all right, what does a perfect game look like? I tried to look at it from the basis of a season. What's a field goal percentage of a top 10 or 15 team in the country? What's a defensive field goal percentage? What about free throw attempts? What about turnovers? Guys, what's a perfect game look like? We ask this every week. We have 14 areas that we concentrate on. If you achieve eight to nine of these, you're definitely going to win the game three to four, you're probably gonna lose, you know, and it's to the T. Moss running end to end, and Tim Miles is living. Iowa holds Nebraska to just four of 23 from three in the 93-84 win. We can look at our Iowa game and say we got four out of 14, three offensive, one defensive. And if you want to know what it was like, it was similar to the games at St. John's and Michigan in the Big Ten tournament. Now, Glenn, you were part of those games. How did you feel walking out of St. John's? I felt embarrassed. How did you feel, Copeland? When you see a game like Iowa, and I can show you, this is a game that models these three games from last season. That's not who we are. We're not this Iowa performance. And guys, what you have to understand about these things is, is, is that they represent us that night, right? How do we bounce back and get better the next night? And it's easy to feel that way today, but we need to understand what it takes to build excellent teams.